Lisp, a dynamic general-purpose programming language famous for pioneering many of the programming techniques we take for granted today. It was created in 1958 by John McCarthy at MIT, making it the second high-level language ever after Fortran the year before. However, it was the first interpreted language that could be executed step-by-step -step without a compiler. In addition, it's responsible for a variety of other language innovations like recursion, dynamic typing, garbage collection, first-class functions, and more. Its name stands for Lisp Processor, and syntax Practically, it's known for its prolific use of parentheses, because at its core, almost everything is treated as a linked list data structure. Each element in the list is called a cons, or constructor, which contains two pointers. The car points to the actual data, while the CDR points to the next element in the list. Developers write S expressions, which might start with a function or operator, followed by one or more arguments. This gives rise to a powerful macros feature, where developers can extend the syntax of Lisp and create domain-specific languages. It's like a programmable program programming language. Common Lisp is still in use today, but it's directly inspired many other languages like Scheme, Clojure, Ruby, and JavaScript, just to name a few. To get started, install Common Lisp on your machine, then create a file ending in .lsp. First, create an S expression, which can represent an atom, like a number or symbol, or a list of multiple values. To print to the standard output, we can reference the format function, followed by T for true, then the string we want to print out. And it contains a ton of built-in functions like print to simplify things. Define a local variable with the let keyword, and it will be lexically scoped to the context in which it's defined. However, you can also define global variables with def parameter or def var, which are dynamically scoped and can be used anywhere. All these variables can be modified, however, you can also create immutable data with def constant. Lisp is multi paradigm, but most well known as a functional language. Use the def un keyword, which is definitely the way you pronounce it, to define a function. It can take one or more parameters and is optionally followed by a string to define its purpose. We can use the star operator to multiply pi by the input radius, and the last expression in the function body will automatically be used as the return value. It was the first language to support higher order functions, where we might do something like create a list, then use another function called mapcar to loop over that list, and call the function we just defined on every single element inside of it. It also includes a built-in macro called loop for general purpose iteration. What it doesn't have though is a while loop. Not a problem though, if you want to create one, just write your own macro to extend the language. Now run your code with the clisp and Interpreter. This has been Lisp in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.